In this video, we are going to learn how to create Amazon S3 bucket, upload objects, and make a bucket policy using AWS console. So for that, let's go to services and let's go to the bottom, click on storage and here click on Amazon S3. And here we want to create a bucket. Let's click on create bucket. And the first thing is we need to give the globally unique bucket name. So I want to give like simple DevOps demo and hope it will be unique. So next one is AWS region. As you can see, Amazon S3 is global, as you can see here. So if you click on this AWS region, you can see the Europe, Canada, Asia. So you can select the, the region which is close to you. In my case, I want to continue with Seoul. Next one is object ownership. So you can leave as a access control list disabled and it's recommended. So don't worry, just leave as it is. And for block public access settings for this bucket, you can also leave as a check. So don't have to change anything. So for bucket versioning and default encryption and bucket key for all, you can leave as a default and click on create bucket. And now, as you can see, we have just created our first Amazon S3 bucket. And this is how you can do that. So let's click on this simple DevOps demo bucket. And inside this bucket, if you want to upload some objects, you can click on upload. And here you can either add the folder or add files. Let's click on add files. And inside my local machine, I want to upload some image like this GCP image. Let's click on this and click on open. And now as you can see here, it shows me the destination, which is simple DevOps demo. And here I want to go button and click on upload. And here it will upload our first object inside our bucket. So this is how you can upload your objects to your buckets. So after we upload this image, let's click on this inside this image. So uh, let's close this. And here we have an image here, as you can see, Google Cloud Platform. This is a JPEG type. You can see the size and storage class. So let's click on this uh, image, this uh, object. And inside this object, you can see the properties like details, AWS region, owner, and you can see the size, type, and you can also see the object URL. So let's click on this open button right after download, click on open. And here you can see the Google Cloud Platform. And here I also want to copy the object URL and paste it in a new tab and it will not work. As you can see, we are getting the error, access denied. So why we are getting this error, why we are not getting this error in the open in this URL? So you can see here, there is a different URL, right? But the beginning is same, but the end is different. As you can see, this is a public URL, which means it's accessible. It should be accessible for all users. It should be, it should be public basically. And here, as you can see, the, the beginning is same, but uh, the, the end is too long, which is provided by AWS only for me, not for others, okay? So we are going to make a bucket policy and enable this public URL, which is uh, object URL, okay? So in order to do that, we are going to go back here. We are going to go to buckets and here we have a simple devops demo bucket let me click on that and here as you can see there is a permissions section let's click on it and here there is a block public access let's click on edit and here we want to uncheck this block all public access and allow all public access all right if we uncheck this it will allow the public access for us so let's click on save changes and let's confirm that and click on confirm. After we configure the pl block public access, we need to also configure the bucket policy. So basically 
if you are wondering what is exactly bucket policy, it's a resource-based policy that you can use to grant access permissions to your Amazon S3 bucket and the objects in it. So we want to click on edit. And here you can see we have bucket policy. So you either can, can uh, click on policy examples or policy generator. Let's click on policy examples. And there, there are several bucket policy examples here, as you can see the codes. So, but you don't have to worry about them. You don't have to understand them. We want to create uh, the policy from scratch by clicking on this policy generator. And here I want to basically select the type and of the policy, which is Amazon S3 bucket policy. And for the effect, you can allow. And for the principle, I want to add start, which means for any on. And the AWS service should be Amazon S3. And for the actions, you can select uh, the get object. Basically, get we are selecting get objects because we read the objects on our bucket. We want to perform get object. Okay. So the next one is Amazon resource name, R-I-A-R-N, which is Amazon resource name. So we want to go back to our simple DevOps demo bucket policy and write under bucket policy, you can see bucket ARN. So let's copy that and here paste it. But it's not over. You have to also add slash and start, which means that reason why we do that, this action get object action right here applies the two objects within your buckets and therefore within your buckets are after slash and their star to represent these objects okay let's click on add statement and generate policy and this is the whole json document we want to copy and paste it to our bucket policy and after that we can click on save changes and here as you can see we are getting your bucket policy changes cannot be saved why you can pause the video and solve this problem by your own, but I'm going to show you now. So let me do the cancel here and click on, let's refresh this page. Once again, let's go to buckets. Let me click on my buckets. And here we have a permissions. We need to click on edit this. And as you can see, it shows the check, which means block all public access. We want to uncheck this, okay? And click on save changes and we want to confirm it. Let's click on confirm. And once again, let's go to bucket policy and click on bucket policy. And here we want to paste the, the JSON document that we have created using policy generator. And we can simply click on save changes. And now, we can do, we can go back to the, the object URL that we got an error and refresh this page and boom, you can see now it's working. So this is how you can make a policy. This is how you can create a, a policy using the policy generator. And this is how you can create the buckets. And this is how you can upload objects inside the buckets. That's all about it for this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. But before that, let me just uh, show you how to delete your buckets because it will charge you. So let's go to this simple DevOps demo and inside that you can see there is a object. So in order to delete your bucket, first you need to delete your objects, all right? So let's uh, click on this checkbox and let's click on delete. And here I want to copy permanently delete and copy that and paste it here and make sure you don't have any space. Okay. And delete objects. Once you delete your object, you can go to buckets and delete your bucket as well here in delete. And you need to type your or copy your bucket name and delete bucket. So that's all about it. That's all about it for this video, and I will see you in the next video.